Hey guys, welcome to the Christmas edition of In My Mailbox. I'm re-recording this because I already recorded it twice and I talk so fast. So if I sound like I'm normally slow, I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk slower than I used to. Okay. Anyway, after that tangent, I'll start with talking about all the awesome things I got for Christmas this year. So this is the first thing I got. This is a Kindle. I was super, super excited about this. Um, my parents got it for me. I've been asking for one for a while. I don't know. I used to not like e-readers, but then I started like actually reading books on one. And I have so many e-books that people email me or like net galleys. And I hate reading on my computer so much, but I love reading on a Kindle. So I'm so happy I got this. Yay, it makes me so happy. And I up uploaded a ton of classics on it because you can get classics for free which is really cool because they're like in the public domain so there's free ebooks and so I have a bunch I have just a couple are like um Emma by Jane Austen and Dracula and Shakespeare and just some random stuff I don't know if I'll get around to reading those because I have so many others to read but in the new year one thing I'd love to do is read more classic books because I like them and so yeah now I have them on my kindle and also the best part about the kindle is that I get all my NetGalley books on here so I have Right now, five books from NetGalley on here, because they're ones I had requested before that I was going to read on my computer, but I have more that I requested now that I have Kindle, and I hope to read these a lot. I have Lost Voices. Um, I can't remember who it's by, but it's a mermaid novel, and it's a 2011 debut author, so it's got a really pretty cover. I wish I could show you. Maybe I'll... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I have Lost Voices, and then I have The Iron Queen which by Julie Kagawa is the third series, the third book in the Iron Fae series. And I'm super excited to read this one because I loved The Iron Daughter. I didn't like The Iron King that much, but I always like read the sequel anyway because I loved it. This Iron Daughter, when I already started The Iron Queen because it just was on my neck, on my Kindle. It was like the first thing I put on there and I just started reading it like right away because it was so good. And I'm like, it's, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> And the third book is a novel I've been dying to read for just about forever, and it's Delirium by Lauren Oliver, which is, um, she's a, she wrote Before I Fall, and like, it's a trilogy, dystopian fantasy trilogy, Delirium, I think I've posted about that I had the ebook for a while, but I have it on my Kindle now, and I'll finally get to read it, so that's so cool. Then I have Populazzi, which is by Elise Allen, who was the co-author of Elixir by Hilary Duff, and it's her a debut novel, and so I'm excited to read Populazzi, <laughs> and then Mystify, which is the final book I have on here, which is by artist Arthur, who if you missed it, last a week from last Friday, I had an interview with her posted on my blog, and yeah, you should go check it out if you didn't read that interview, because it was a good interview, and I, and I have reviewed her first book, which was Manifest, and now I have her second book on my Kindle, and I believe all five of these books are advanced review copies or like galleys, so none of them are out yet thanks to NetGalley, I got them on here. So yeah, and hopefully I'll be getting more NetGalley soon and I'll actually be able to read them now. And I have a couple, um, well, that's all I have on my Kindle, which was the best thing I got for Christmas, but then I have a whole ton of other books I got, too, so stick around for a while and I'll talk about them all. And I'll try to talk slowly because I've been talking really fast every time I've done this video. <laughs> okay, so this is the first book I got. And this is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, which, you know, it's the new series that's a spinoff of the Percy Jackson series. I read all the Percy Jackson series last year, and I really loved them. And I haven't read The Red Pyramid, which is his other kind of spinoff series that's about Egyptian mythology. But um, I'm more interested in reading this one just because it has, like, Percy in it and stuff. So I'm really, really excited to read this and thanks so much to my parents who got me the kindle and also got me this for christmas because they knew i'd been talking about wanting to read it um okay the second book i got for christmas this year also from my parents was nightshade by andrea kramer because um if you didn't know i love this book like to death it's one of my new favorites ever and i cannot wait for the sequel and i read this book a while ago but i got it from the library and i want to own my own copy because I love it so much, so they got it for me for Christmas, which makes me so happy. I've already read it, but it's so pretty to have on my shelves, and I actually, I'm definitely going to read it again before the second one comes out, because I loved it so much. <laughs> okay, the last book I got for Christmas, I got for my little sister, and this is called Beautiful Creatures. Well, 
you probably heard of Beautiful Creatures. Okay, <laughs> everyone's heard of this book. It's awesome. It's a really big book, and this is paperback, but it's just, like, it's so pretty. I don't know what about it, but it's just, I'm so excited to read this book, and I thank my sister so much because this book is just, looks awesome. And yeah, she knew I'd been talking about wanting that too. So, um, okay. I got one more thing for Christmas, and this isn't a book, but it's just cool. And I got it for Christmas, also for my sister. This is the movie Inception, which I loved. And I saw it once in theaters, and I haven't seen it again, but I've been really wanting to see it again, because it's one of those movies, like, you don't quite get it all the first time. So she bought it for me, and I'm so happy. So that's awesome. I love that movie. Um, okay, now I've also, hold on. <laughs> I went to the library a few times the past week and the first book I got was Masquerade by Melissa De La Cruz which is Blue Blood novel and I already finished it and returned it so I don't have it around but then I picked up when I returned it I got the third one which is Revelations the third Blue Bloods novel and I must say like I read the first Blue Bloods book this summer and I wasn't that impressed and it was kind of dull and I don't I don't even know why I've decided to read the sequel but it's another case where I'm just really glad I read the sequel because it got a million times better and like okay the sequel wasn't a million times better but it was just like addicting and this is just and now I'm like halfway through the third one and it's just like my guilty guilty pleasure series because I know I don't know I just like it's addicting and even though it's like not the best writing and there's I have about a million issues with it I can't stop reading it's just so good so if you love kind of vampire stories in New York that they're really short books and they're got a, the plot is just really good so yeah read Blue Bloods it's awesome I love it and okay so yeah hopefully I'll have a review of Masquerade and Revelations once I finish it up soon this week I have um I also finished just while I'm talking about that Linger this week and Linger seriously amazing book I was like, Shiver was okay, but Linger was amazing, so I'm going to be reviewing that one later soon, too. So, I love that book. <laughs> okay, now, back to my books I got. I got this book from the library, this is Anastasia's Secret, and this is historical fiction. I'm doing the 2011 Historical Fiction Challenge, and so this book I'm hoping to read for part of that, to start off the year with some historical fiction right there. And I think this is on my list, and maybe it's not. I don't actually remember, but I don't care. <laughs> it still counts as part of the challenge. So hopefully I'll be reading that. And second, or yeah, the other library book I got was The Juliet Club, which it looks like it's historical fiction, but it's not. <laughs> it's kind of like Letters to Juliet, I think, where like a girl goes to Verona and falls in love or something like that. So it looks super cute, and yeah, hopefully I'll be reading that one too if I have time. And then Once a Witch by Carolyn McCullough. Which, um, which, okay, um, I'm really excited to read because the, I've heard good things about it and the second one, Always a Witch, I have heard it's either came out or it's coming out or something, so, yeah, I'm excited to read this book because it looks really good. And wow, that's it for me. That was a lot of stuff and this is a long video, so, <laughs> thanks for sticking around to watch the whole entire thing. And that's all my books that I got this week. Oh yeah, and I have one more question. In case anybody else has a Kindle like me, I'm just wondering, do you guys have, do you have a case for it? Like if so, like what case? Because like, I don't know, I just want to get a case. This is super light and it's, I don't know, it doesn't need a case to read it, but I just wanted something to keep it safe. And I've seen the ones on Amazon that are really expensive, so I don't know if you have one of those, if you do like them, is it worth spending the money? Like the ones with the light or something? I don't know. So just, if you have a case, tell me about it because I'm curious. Alright. Yeah, that's all I got in my mailbox this week. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody, and happy reading.